All right, now please to welcome in the new coach of the Arizona Wildcats. I, you know, it's still weird. I, I got to say, it's going to be weird for a long time. You and I, Tommy Lloyd, have known each other uh, for about 15 years or so. I've got my Zags hat, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the – Tommy, I got it. I got you covered. Look, look. I got you okay, covered. Okay, okay. There we go. Let's roll. I got you covered. Don't worry. Um, first of all, you, you're not going to cry during this interview, right, like you were earlier yeah. today? I have choked up a few times today and, um, you know, I not a super emotional person, but pretty passionate. So yeah, I mean, Hey, listen, and, and, and listen, and, and, and I, you know, you and I are, 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 are friends more than anything. Um, um, so we're always teasing each other, but you know, I'm, I'm a passionate person and, and I'm so thankful for being at Gonzaga with amazing people. And are you kidding me? It created this opportunity for me. I mean, you know, it, it's a lot to take in. Um, but I'm up for the challenge and I'm so excited to be here that, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it's a little bit overwhelming to think about. Listen, just whatever you do, make me one promise that you do not dig up my transcript. While you're there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. That, that's well, I can only limits. imagine. You, yeah, it wasn't pretty. Listen, yeah. going from Boston to Tucson, you, you'll find out the weather's a little bit better in Tucson. And when I was there, I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you the percentage of classes I went to. It wasn't pretty. Uh, anyway, if if I was to ask you, when you're at Gonzaga and you're the, the, the coach in waiting, you had it in writing, you had everything. Uh, I've talked to Mike Roth about it, the AD, plenty of times. How many jobs do you think legitimately you would have left that spot for, Tommy? In which ones? It's one of one. And it's where I'm at right now. You know, uh, you know, I mean, you know, the, the job interest or whatever, or me decided not to leave. I mean, th th to me, it was never a big deal because I, I never lived in that world of hypotheticals. Oh, you know, wh where are you going to coach? What is, what's the best job in each league? I'm like, I never thought like that. I thought, hey, I'm at Gonzaga. How cool is that? I'm going to bust my butt, do the best job for Gonzaga. And what happens is going to happen. And then you know, we had a ton of success and then Gonzaga rewarded me and they always did. And, you know, and, and Fuey, you know, you know, this basically handpicked me to be his successor. I mean, I mean, wow. You know, it was pretty awesome. And so I, 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 I treated that with respect. And, um, and so I never really had a plan on leaving Gonzaga, but this happened. And this is the one of one, um, you know, crazy things happen in life. And, um, you know, I'm going through one right now, but I feel like I'm at the right place. And uh, it's been awesome the last whatever, 24 hours, you know, since it's kind of since, since you broke it, you know, before anything happened. I don't know where you got it from. We got to, you know, not, not from you. That's for sure. You didn't get it from me because I was ghosting you. You know that. I tried, I tried uh, man. I didn't. You know, I hate wearing people out during that process. I'll yeah. hit you. I think I probably hit you how many times during that whole week? Maybe three? Come on now. Come on now. You love being annoying. It's one of your strengths. Well, we won't yeah. tell the story. We will, yeah, no. when, you talk, when, when we talk about passion, right? When we talk about passion. That's for another day. <laughs> we will tell the story another day of when you absolutely went off at me at yeah. halftime of, of a WCC tournament game. It was well deserved, though. We'll put that there. Right? No question. No yeah, question. Okay, we'll okay. do. We'll do that later. We'll save that for people uh, on a full podcast when, when we have you <laughs> on. All right. So go through with me the roller coaster ride of the last ten days, Tommy. Because you know people forget right now you have one of the toughest losses of your entire career about ten days ago when a lot of people thought, uh, not myself, I actually picked Baylor. Um, but a lot of people did think that Gonzaga would end up beating Baylor and win the national title. Most people did, in fact. Well, I mean, obviously we had a great season and, you know, to, to you know, get to a final four and playing a championship game is unbelievable, you know, and it, it was an awesome ride. Um, and then, you know, Hey, Baylor played awesome. You know, we didn't play great at Gonzaga that day and, and you got to tip your hats to Baylor and a ton of respect for them and and you know you know honestly part of me is happy for them you know the competitive part of of me is like man I wish I would have been us but you know I mean for me it added fuel to my fire and um and then you know you go back home you're exhausted you know 
23 days in that bubble. You know, you come out, you're he's like literally like you're not even a normal person anymore. You, you, gain, you gain 10, 15 pounds. Oh, easy. The bubble wasn't good for my waistline. Uh, <laughs> you know, those they bring those players so much food. You know, it's just bad to you have. You could have said no. You could have said no. Yeah, you could have. But you know what? Uh, you know, low willpower. And and I was in a weakened state, you know, worn down from the stress. Uh, so I gave in. And um yeah. And then when, you know, got back home and then, you know, in the middle of the week, a couple of days later, this Arizona thing started happening a little bit. And, you know, you know, for me and my family, we sat the kids down and, um, you know, we said, hey, we don't know what's going to happen. There, there could be an opportunity, you know, before we'd interviewed, because obviously these rumors are swirling and I'm just like, where are these coming from? I haven't told anybody anything, but, but I guess that's how it is this day and age. And my, my family was awesome. They were 100% supportive. And, and the only way I could have left Gonzaga is if I put everything I had into getting this job. And to the point, like, if I didn't get it, I was going to be heartbroken. And, um, and so, you know, my family was behind me and we went for it. And it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. You're my last interview. You know, we always save the worst for last, you know, lowest ratings and all that stuff. And, uh, and, and you're that guy. And uh, I can't but wait to get done with you and go hang out with my family and, and check in and see on how they're doing. Because I saw them a couple of times today and they, had, they were smiling ear to ear. And, uh, you know, I just want to see how they're handling everything. Listen, once your wife sees your paycheck, she'll be just fine when you tell her it's going to be a few more minutes. OK, she'll be just fine. Hey, 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 and I, and I will tell this because, you know, it, it's just being honest. You know, Fuey, you know, give me the Mark Few wisdom and just said, hey, it's going to be a lot of good days and there's going to be some bad days. On the bad days, don't forget how much money you're making. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the best part is I called him yesterday to tell him, like, hey, I'm going to sign the contract today. And his, his phone didn't even ring, went straight to voicemail. So you know what he was doing? Fishing. He was fishing. So, uh, you know, I haven't even talked to him since I've been down here, but we had some great conversations before. So I'm looking forward to catching up him when the, when the dust settles a little bit. All right. So speaking of Fuey, uh, what is the thing you're going to miss the most about Mark Few? And what is the thing you're going to uh, miss the least from being gone for Mark Few? I mean, I mean, the most, there were so many things. I mean, him and I had obviously, uh, you know, you work with a guy for 22 years. So, yeah. Well, there was a lot of communication with no communication, if you know what I mean. So we were able to, to coexist and I was able to serve him and, and work for him. And obviously we had a great chemistry, you know, and, uh, and, you know, I'm going to miss that because I, I think we had a, you know, uh, it was a great one, two punch, you know, and, um, and, 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 and I loved being the number two guy for him. Um, you know, I mean, be honest okay. here. Be honest. The not miss deal. I mean, listen, it'll be really interesting to see his influences on me. The not miss deal is at least now I'm going to know I have some control over the day to day schedule. I mean, you don't know how many times I've been at Gonzaga. We're practicing at two o'clock. It's one fifty nine. My phone would ring and he'd say, "Hey, just have the guy shoot for twenty minutes." <laughs> you know, so, so all those days and whatever. It, it, a lot it's of a those thing. Yeah. Um, so we'll see if I, you know, mess with my staff on the schedule, like he messed with us on a daily basis, but, uh, but it was all, all fun. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that, you know, at least for now, you know, we won't be doing it together, but I'm thankful for the time we had. I'm thankful for him taking a chance on a nobody. I'm thankful for him preparing me for this opportunity. So, for those who don't know a lot about you, what 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 are they going to get in Tucson? What are they going to get? Because I tell people, here's how I describe you, is you're, you're competitive as hell on the court. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've heard it. Um, but, but when you get you off the court, and I even said this, I texted you this, I think, last night. I said, be loose. Be you. you. And I think people will see that now when they, when they watch this. But I don't think a lot of people see that from you when they're watching a game. Obviously, yeah. same thing with Fuey. Like I don't think many people who people who don't know Mark Few 
think he's some guy who's buttoned up and doesn't have some fo- – right, I know. Yeah, the opposite. you got to tell people that, yeah. and I think it's similar with you in some ways. Yeah. Well, I mean, first off, I mean, I love people, and, and I really value just being able to be a normal person. Um, and listen, I like going to the grocery store and doing stuff like that. And, and I don't want that to change and hopefully it never does. So, you know, I would just, you know, the people down here at Tucson, I just want them to know they're getting somebody just like them, you know, and, 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 you know, I happen to be a basketball coach, you know, they might have a, a normal job, but you know, that's what I would say. And, 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 you know, me, listen, I love laughing. I love teasing each other. I mean, I think that's fun. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I hopefully can do that here, you know, and hopefully it doesn't get to the point where I have to, you know, really, really protect myself because I don't think that is my authentic self, you know, and, um, and, and so hopefully um, the university and the community will embrace that and um, we'll be on a great journey together and we'll have a ton of fun and, you know, we'll, we'll enjoy the highs and we'll get through the lows together and, um, you know, all in all, it'll be a great experience for everybody. Last question. Um, I think the one the one question I've gotten more than anything about you is, all right, is he going to be able to recruit like high level athletic dudes? You know, Gonzaga. No, you know he's done he's done it internationally. I'm just telling you what people are asked, what people are coming at me with. Okay, I'm not telling you how I answer it. Do you said you got Hunter Salas. I know you've yeah. gotten some good athletic dudes, but what what do you say to that criticism? I mean, did they like watching Jalen Suggs play? I, I mean, so. listen, the international deal is an easy narrative for everybody to grab onto because it's unique. And um, and but but come on, we've had so many good U.S. players, and and to me, I don't make it about it's got to be an international guy, it's got to be this, got to be a transfer. For me, I want to look at all of those, and then from all of those, you know, different pools, pick the best players for Arizona. And, and, and that's what I'm going to do. And, and you're going to see a well-balanced roster. You're not going to see the United Nations where guys like you have trouble pronouncing their names, you know. Um, hey, you know. I got Martinez Arlauskas because I was over there in Lithuania. Yeah, I have yeah, that you, one day. Yeah, you, you nailed that. And, um, and yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, you know, the recruiting-wise, I'm, I'm excited. And, and I understand it might be a little bit different here. It can be different. But you don't have to sacrifice on the character, you know, the fit, the work ethic, you know, and then obviously talent's part of that equation too. You don't have to make sacrifices there, I don't think. So, so hopefully, I never do. All right. Well, listen. Uh, take your family uh, over to Gentle Bands. Don't take them to Dirt Bags tonight, okay? <laughs> when, when, when I come out, I'll take you to Dirt Bags, uh, but wow. do not do not bring your family to Dirt Bags. Okay. That, hey. that, that's. That's maybe a solo trip for me and you, and we're a lot older, but, you know, back in the day, it was pretty good. Wisdom from Jeff Goodman. There you wow. go. There you go. Listen, congrats. Uh, happy to have you in Tucson, and uh, make sure you have a seat at yeah. the end of the bench for me. All right, save. Yeah. End of the bench, no. Listen, you're going to be in press row with a partition in front of you. That's where you're going to be, so oh. – Hopefully there's no partition. Hopefully we can bring down the partitions this year. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, had yeah. enough of the partitions. So. I'm with you on that. Um, listen again. Congrats. Yep. Um, good catching up. Call me whenever. All right. Okay. Thank my man.